We're going to be working with the uh, pit pen, the artist pens, the, uh, the set of 48 that you're familiar with as well as the new uh, extra super fine pen as well as the gold and the silver and then also the big brush. Um, to begin with I thought uh, if you want to start working with um, the pens we have a couple sets here that you can use. All right, so in working on that, it, you know, in filling out larger areas like that, uh, it takes a little more strokes to use this pen. But if I were to use the larger pen, then I can fill in larger areas more quickly. And you can also build up a more even tone. But while it's still kind of fresh on the paper, you can take a brush with some water and you can start getting some blend. And then to kind of come back with the fixed marker, especially with the extra uh, sharp, you can then put additional detail and some additional cross hatching in there. So you have a nice wide range between the scale of the extra super fine point and then the thickness and the quality of stroke that you can get with the uh, brush pen. So if I want to draw this, this line, I can roll it on the side and get a thick line, and then as I come on down and follow through that line, I can taper it. All right, so I can control very nicely on a large scale. For laying out a canvas, uh, rather than use a charcoal or a graphite that has to be fixed to the surface, once these dry on the canvas, you don't have to worry about them mixing with your paint. If you want to do a drawing with these pens, then you can be very sketchy with it and I could see how these would be very nice to use in a life drawing class where you're working on larger pads of paper and you want some nice sketch marks and filling in tones. It's very easy with a light touch to get a lot of things blocked in in a very sketchy way. But you can then, once you have your base of the, uh, the paint down, you can come back with some of these pens and you can add some more color, you can get in there very tightly into corners, uh, maybe a little more fluid than you might with a, a brush. But I think the fact that it's archival quality of uh, pigment within the brushes and you know, it's color indexed with other products that you can use as a mixed media thing is, is a real positive uh, base to then experiment in so many different ways because you're working with good materials and experiment with good materials and you know, to get good results.